Chapter 4 Introduction to Word Hello children today i am going to tell you how to write words and sentences in different format using word software word is a word processor developed by microsoft it is a program that is used for typing text the first word processor was basically a computerized typewriter a word document file can contain text images tables graphs charts etc we can type and save documents and use it later what can we do with the text in word the writing style size color of the text can be changed the text can be highlighted by bold italic and can be underlined automatic spelling and grammar corrections are made the text we type is displayed on the screen when the text reaches the end of a line the cursor automatically moves to the next line and continues components of word look below this is how word screen looks like file tab the file related functions like new open save print etc are present under this tab quick access toolbar the quick access toolbar located above the ribbon lets you access common commands no matter which tab you are using by default it shows the save undo and redo commands you can add other commands to make it more convenient for you title bar it shows the application name that is word along with the document name ribbon the ribbon contains all of the commands you will need in order to perform common tasks it contains several groups of commands some groups have an arrow in the bottom right corner that you can click to see even more commands ruler the ruler is located at the top and to the left of your document it makes it easier to adjust your document with precision if you want you can hide the ruler to free up more screen space status bar it appears at the bottom of word window which provides information like page number number of pages lines words etc cursor it is a blinking vertical line which shows the current typing position in the document document area this is the area which is used to type text insert pictures create tables etc using a cursor present in this area creating a new document all the work in word is done in a document file to create a new document follow the given steps step 1 click the file tab this takes you to backstage view step 2 select new step 3 select blank document under available templates it will be highlighted by default 
Step 4. Click Create. A new blank document appears in the Word window. Fact. Shortcut keys to open a new document is Ctrl plus N. Typing text. You can see a flashing vertical line appears on the screen. This is called a cursor. From here, you can start typing your text. While typing the text, when you reached at the end of the line, the cursor automatically moves down to the next line. This feature is called Word Wrap. We press Enter only when we want to change a paragraph. We use backspace key to delete the character before the cursor and delete key to delete the character after the cursor. Changing the size of the text. To change the size of the text, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the text by putting the cursor at the beginning of the text drag it at the end. Step 2. Choose the size by clicking on the arrow beside the font size box. Undo and redo the text in Word. You can reverse the changes by clicking on back icon to undo the same or you can also press Ctrl plus Z. You can redo or repeat the changes by clicking go to further icon to redo the same or you can also press Ctrl plus Y. Copy, cut and paste the text within a document. Copy and paste. To copy and paste text, follow the given steps. Select the text you want to copy. Step 2. Copy the selected text by using the copy tool or by pressing the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus C. Step 3. Place the cursor on that place where you want the text to be copied. Step 4. Paste the copied text by using the paste tool or by pressing the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus V. Cut and paste. To cut and paste text, follow the given step. Step 1. Select the text you want to cut. Step 2. Cut the selected text by using the cut tool or by pressing the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus X. Step 3. Place the cursor on that place where you want to move the text. Step 4. Paste the text by using the paste tool or by pressing the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus V.